Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, had a, a couple of questions about PC performance and of course it varies very widely from machine to machine uh, and it has a lot to do with the type of hardware that you have of course. Um, some machines are slow by default because of the hardware some machines are slow because of minimum requirements that are just barely minimum. Um, but one of the things that you should check for if you have a PC and your Windows operating system doesn't operate at top speed, two things will speed up a PC in general. These two key hardware are often um, a reason why your computer is very slow. The first one is RAM memory. So RAM is of course essential for your PC to run well. And you should have enough of it to run well. You can go by right clicking in the start menu and go to the task manager and see how much RAM you have by going into memory. So here on this machine it's 8 gigabytes of DDR3. Also the graphic so shown here will kind of tell you if you're running you know to the to the edge or to the limit we talked about it in a previous video last week about minimum requirements for memory um, you know today I think the standard for a decent computer is at least eight gigabytes uh, if you have 16 it's better it's even better and depending on what you use because gamers and and very you know um, big applications um, you might you know, even need 32, but in general, you got to have at least four. Eight is even more optimal in today's machines. If you have less than four, then you should think about an upgrade of memory because it will definitely increase the speed of your PC. Why? Because RAM memory is used to speed up your machine. Everything that's RAM is fast and the more you have applications running the more things are running in the background the more RAM you'll need for all of that to run smoothly you run out of RAM what's going to happen is it's the hard drive that's going to be used to compensate and hard drive is typically very slow and talking of hard drive that's the second thing that you should think about in a machine that doesn't perform well make sure you've got an SSD SSD solid state drives today are the absolute minimum default. Even older hard, uh, computers that don't have the latest technology can still have SSDs. Uh, you have SATA SSDs available and they actually make your computer perform a lot faster. And we talked about that also in a video. So these two key hardware, the amount of memory you have and the fact that you might have an SSD rather than an old hard drive is key to making your computer faster. Of course, there's a lot of other things, but in SSD, for example, will speed up the hard drive, um, you know, like in Windows updates, everything that writes a lot of data will benefit from an SSD. Even better, if you did run out of memory but you've got an SSD, your computer is still going to run faster than a, a computer with low memory and a whole hard drive because the old hard drive performs so bad in speed that it just makes things worse. So enough memory and a solid state drive are key to a faster machine, even on older machines. Uh, that's important. I've seen machines that are eight years old that runs so well and so fast uh, you'd be amazed at how it goes a lot of machines today are still sold with good old R drives you should avoid them you should avoid any computer today that doesn't have a solid state drive um, it it will actually bog down and make your computer slow and make everything slow including updates and for the rest, well, there's a mix of all sorts of hardware. Um, you know, motherboards, processors, and all of that have varying speeds, and so um, that will play. But you know what? Even the slowest motherboard and processor combination still will perform better 
if you've got enough RAM memory and an SSD drive uh, than, um, you know, bare minimum, which is unfortunately a lot of people have bare minimum and then wonder why a computer is so slow. Um, even in 2022, you can still buy a bare minimum computer that has the minimum requirements and that's it. And then you wonder, it's like, well, I would think that a computer today in 2022 runs much faster than that. Well, the problem isn't that your computer is not fast enough. The problem is you just chose a computer with the bare minimum. And it actually is slow because of that. And often has to do with the price that you want to pay also for the computer uh, in general. And there are, of course, differences in speeds after that with all sorts of things. Your processor being the, the different generations of processor, the different types of processor, uh, definitely also play a key role in all of this. But um, the two minimum um, for speed are really enough RAM and get an SSD drive, and you'll see a huge difference. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.